A Russian spy ship is now reportedly parked in international waters. It's about 30 miles from a submarine base in Connecticut, but even closer to Montauk Point. While there's no indication the ship poses a direct threat to the U.S., lawmakers want to know what it's doing there. They sure do. Long Island reporter Kristen Thorne is live with reaction. Kristen? Diana and Shade, we've been here at Jones Beach for quite some time here. We've had a lot of people come up to the truck asking what we're doing here. We say we're here for the Russian spy ship. And a lot of people who've lived around this area for many years, they say, oh, yeah, that used to happen all the time. But many, many years ago, this is a picture of the ship. It's designed to intercept intelligence. It has tons of antennas on top of it. It is now off the coast of Long Island, but it is not in U.S. territorial waters. Officials think its purpose is to intercept intelligence coming from the U.S. Navy submarine base in Groton, Connecticut. It's about 30 miles southeast of that base right now, and it's pretty much standing still at this point. Officials are calling it loitering, which is apparently common for a spy ship to do. We spoke with Connecticut Congressman Joe Courtney. He represents the district where that submarine base is. He says he spoke with the commander of the base, and everything is under control. We've also... Uh, spoken to the Navy uh, through staff, and I had a, a quick brief uh, this morning, a uh, classified brief in terms of just, again, some of the other um, activity of a similar nature that's been going on in, in probably about the last year or so, um, where, um, again, the work that's done in Groton um, is, is definitely of a clearly great interest uh, to the Putin government. The U.S. Coast Guard released this statement saying it is aware of a Russian Federation flagged vessel transiting international waters off the east coast of the United States. The ship has not entered U.S. territorial waters, which extend 12 miles out to sea. This is not the first time this particular spy ship has been off the east coast. Uh, back in 2014, it was off the coast of northern Florida and Georgia for quite some time. There are very little security threat, officials are saying, but really Really, the concern is what type of message is the Russian government trying to send to the U.S.? We're live at Jones Beach. I'm Kristen Thorne, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.